Latifi was the quickest in the drive. It's, it's, it's a shame. such a shame for him. He can have a chance now. Is he going to be able to come back? Matsushita, wow, the race absolutely changing with four to go. Ollie Rowland looking on his mirrors. His teammates got the DRS. Oh, He's going to be able to react. Oh, a late move. A late move to defend from Ollie Rowland, but it is going to be the defense. And are they going to be on the radio? Are the engineers going to be like, careful, guys? We've got a double podium here. They won't be listening at this stage. Rowland trying to stay ahead. Latifi determined to make amends. He might have lost the victory, but he's going to try and retake take second he's all over the back of him and what must be going through the Canadian's head the first victory at this level gone and he's tried to compose himself there you see lap 22 the mistake costing him nearly seven seconds he had a lead of four and Matsushita wow here's the crate oh he just went wide that is so strange that is so strange. He missed the break. He went wide, and then you have all the steer there because there's no grip out of the line, and he, he went on the gravel, and look. Oh, oh, your heart sinks for him. And then Oli Rowland getting him No, it was good here. It was good here, Latifi. But then he made the mistake at the corner 10, at the break of the high pin. It was good here. Look, the defense It's perfect. He had a good exit, but no DRS. But now, and now here's still the DRS. There, my friend. Stay on the left. No, he gave the chance to Roland to... Well, he knew it was his teammate. He didn't want to fight him too hard. And so frustrating for Latifi down there at turn number five. Oh, you really, really feel for him that... Well, it looks so good. And now it's all crumbled away. And I tell you what, when Nobuharo Matsushita gets into the lead, he usually, usually stays there. Yeah, you're right. Latifi deserved the victory. He was the quickest. He was pulling away. He was driving perfectly. Ah, he lost a big chance today. Shame. You're going to have to be kind to him on the podium when you ask the questions in a couple of minutes' time because he will be really hurting. Getting really close there between Alban and Malia. He's been trying to pass Malia for ages and he's still not managed to do so. Here's Markolov in touch with his teammate. King really on the charge at this moment in the race. Hardly any time to go. Here we keep cool, we keep cool. That's the only thing he could be told on the radio. Just say calm. Oh, crazy, crazy and dramatic scenes. These cars are so difficult. They make it look so easy. And that is one of the few gravel traps around this circuit. There's so much tarmac runoff area. He didn't make a mistake with tarmac runoff. He made a mistake where there's gravel about, and that cost him seven seconds and victory. Yeah, you have to consider maybe the pressure of being leader of oh, the race. For so long. Uh, unfamiliar territory, hadn't led many laps in this machinery, and then having to lead, well, lead the entire distance until it changes four laps from the finish. Incredible stuff. Jordan King absolutely on the charge. We've seen Alban looking after the tires. Remember, King has three years experience with these tires, with this machinery. Alban only in his fourth race in Formula 2, and he will be really hoping that he can eke out and show some of that great defensive driving that he showed against Leclerc. And King will be hoping to reverse these positions very, very soon. Maybe at the end of this straight. In fact, he's going to go right to the inside, brushes the grass, and crucially takes sixth place with a really, really composed move. King's experience really paying off there. And Alban, who has been a real star today, putting in a strong performance. He will learn more and more with every single lap that goes past. Oli Roland looking at good points and a double podium this weekend. But Matsushita is looking very strong indeed. Got himself through when he needed to. Past Malia. And this was the move from King with the use of DRS ahead. Good defense once again from Alban, but it didn't quite work. And back we go to Alban, who is now trying to keep behind Luca Giotto. You see he's really losing out through the corners and King absolutely flying to the back of Gustav Malia's racing engineering. So King, who in the uh, GP2 race here last year was on the podium. He knows a rapid way around this racetrack. And look at the difference in time between Giotto and Alban. So Giotto, who is considering a pit stop, 
earlier on in the race. We heard that communication on the radio. And now he's got a wonderful opportunity coming onto the main straight once again. Let's see if King can make the move on Malia in the foreground whilst keeping an eye in the background. Here goes Malia defensive. King making places up, getting into the top five as he was in Bahrain. And oh, so close as Giotto got past Alban and Alban very nearly running into the back of the Russian time. Giotto improving as well. And so two moves in quick succession. King now fifth, Malia sixth, Giotto seventh, and Alban desperately trying to hang on to the final point. But can he hang on? It's not looking promising with Artem Markolov trying at this stage. And it does appear that the car in front has shot its tires. Markolov will just want to get a point and will just want to get out of here, reset and come back fighting at a venue that he won at in GP2 in 2016. What a victory that was, by the way. Right, should be fairly simple if he keeps his cool here. Nothing's ever simple at this level in Formula 2, but he's got the DRS. Alban's going defensive. He's going to try and go the long way around. Ah, lock up for Markolov. He's going to cost him momentum. We're coming to the final corner of the race. Nobuhara Matsushita wins at Barcelona. Oli Roland is second, and it's desolation for Nicolas Latifi, who for over 20 laps of this race looked as if it was going to be his day in the sunshine, but it's not to be. Here's Malia and Giotto going across the line and just about holding on is Gustav Malia for sixth position. King was fifth and threw comes Alban who fought all the way through those 26 laps and does take the final point ahead of the man who started on reverse grid pole. The rest of the field filtered through with Chicotto in 10th, Kanamasas in 11th, but here is the winner. What a performance. You've got to keep it on the road to win. Good job, Nabu. Good job. So Dams were on for three consecutive victories at this level in the sprint race here in Barcelona, but it's at this corner, turn the exit of turn number five, where it all went wrong for poor old Nicolas Latifi, who gets himself on a Formula 2 podium for the first time, but he will not go and enjoy it. Unlike the crowd who have been treated to some wonderful defensive driving and some wonderful moves, certainly into turn one, so this was Markolov and Alban. Remember, they were fighting for eighth position. Look how close it got. Almost all four wheels off the racetrack for Markolov, but he couldn't find a way through. He knew that was the last opportunity. And then it's the chance for Alban, the teammate to this man, to slow it down and accelerate. A double podium for this man, Oli Rowland. Okay, very well done again. Well done again, mate. Just uh, there is low, there is low on the inlap of the field, pick up rubber. So again on the podium, very good. Yeah, thanks guys. It was good again. Sorry about Nicky, you guys deserve the win today. Lovely words there. He's a lovely guy, Ollie Rowland. And sympathetic words for a teammate who will be feeling it at the moment through that trip in the grapple. But Matsushita didn't put a foot wrong. Started in fifth position. Once again, we see the sprint race won at this level from outside the top positions. And many at the start of the year thought we were going to get an awful lot of different winners. Well, it's proving to be the case. Artem Markolov, Charles Leclerc, and now Novahara Matsushita can call themselves Formula 2 victors. He needed this, he really did. You never want to criticize a driver, but ever since Baku last year, Matsushita has not been confident, and there is nothing like a victory to re-engineer that confidence. And hopefully, having seen his countryman, Nairai Fukuzumi, win in GP3, he has delivered the day after. And is this now going to be a springboard for a man who is rapid when he gets in to the upper positions. Much like Gustav Malia, yes, 
the frustration released and for the first time since Monaco last year where he, he has won in the GP211 Dallara built car well so much of racing is psychological a man who has really struggled something you've got to learn that's what they're here to do, to learn and to win. Sebastian Philippe, the boss, congratulating his driver. And now posing for the photographs. And what a contrast then, the man who's been through the mill, profiting when there was the mistake from Latifi, who still scores a fine podium. But he won't feel like that at the moment. So hopefully we're going to see the best from him. That's what we want to see, drivers at their maximum. Oli Rowland there having a debrief and he's in the shade and I'm sure that's how he feels Nicholas Latifi who will in a couple of days I imagine reflect on the fact that he was very very close there and once he got to the front so accomplished seemingly having the race won so nine tenths of the job completed for the Canadian as we have a look at the top three cars. Damn, so impressive around this circuit, running this equipment. They've proven it again. Olly Rowland gaining a few points back. 47 now for him, Charles Leclerc with 73. Let's listen in. My mirror. Just before. Yeah, yeah. The was very strong, though. Yeah. Yeah, my uh, my side mirror flew off because I something hit my face. I didn't know what it was, and then I noticed it what it was just before I was breaking. Something's on there. I noticed it just before I broke, so I 